what are some of the policies that you two are um, really like pushing for in your your running for um, USG? Uh, so our big three uh, uh, includes our mental health, the expansion of mental health services on campus, increased transparency with the school in multiple uh, different ways, and then increasing connections with alumni and creating more graduation opportunities. So those are our big three. Okay, so like, um, what has inspired you guys to like really focus? focus on those three things is is it like personal experiences or just things that you you guys have seen it, that are been lacking on campus yeah that's a great question so starting off with the uh, transparency i feel like communication is key for any successful relationship uh this relationship being between the students and the university administration uh so i a lot of students have felt including myself that a lot of decisions by the university have been done without much consideration or a lack of rebuttal from the student population, such as the moving in. I know that uh, staffs have had trouble along with uh, people working with dining that have had trouble or concerns with decisions being made on their behalf without their knowledge. And then mental health, is increasing uh, an increasingly worrisome topic especially now as people have been isolated for the last year and we've definitely seen the effects of that as uh, it's been reported that many people have uh, been lonely or been having trouble of making new friends and just having the counseling center being available and adapt to those needs for students, I think is going to be really important uh, moving on to getting to a better normal next year. And then for graduation opportunities, a uh, big thing, a lot of students have a lot of concerns, especially now about what life will look like after this as they don't have internship opportunities or connections that they would have made otherwise. So really, uh, making sure that they're coming to BGSU, uh, knowing that they'll have an opportunity set up afterwards from connecting with our alumni center. Yeah, so kind of just like picking apart all the things that you just talked about, but um, how would, what are some ways that you guys would, um, I don't know, like help the alumni, like be able to reach out to students and be able to make that connection for future jobs, internships, and all of that. What are some ideas? Yeah, so it uh, really starts off with uh, advising. A lot of students or a lot of students that I personally talked to have had issues with their academic advisors and not graduating on time. So uh, really uh, buckling down and finding out what the disconnect is between students and the advisors, whether it there's not enough advisors and there's too much workload or if they're just not as well versed in all the possible opportunities for our students. And then uh, working on a an app or a website sort of like Handshake specifically designed for alumni and students to connect. And this will largely be done through uh, the help of other senators within USG and working with Maledi Alumni Center. Cool. So um, kind of like retracing all of the three things that you already described. Um, the You were talking about the communication. So what do you think that you guys would bring to the table that would make the communication, like you mentioned, like with move in and BG dining and stuff like that, what would make that communication better? And what would you guys like kind of push for? Mm -hmm. So it really starts uh, during the summer, really developing a relationship with the administration and uh, transparency and communication isn't like its own thing. It's more of a overarching idea that pertains to all of our policies. So one of our other stances uh, that we wanna bring forward is transparency on student tuition as a lot of uh, the fees as the instructional uh, main uh, grad fee is left to ambiguous sources. I personally would feel 
that I'd have more trust in the institution if I knew exactly where my money was going and knowing that it's not being wasted. So to uh, get back on track to uh, how we would do this, uh, so developing that relationship and then really connecting with uh, students uh, to get them emails and get them more part of the decision-making process along with uh, having, having more open forums with administrators so students are not only informed, but they're involved. And I think that's really what we're trying to do at BGSU's campus as uh, one of our things is belong. And we wanna make sure that students do belong in the decision-making process. Yeah, awesome. So um, the first one, mental health, um, obviously you mentioned that like this time is like really hard for a lot of students, you know, online school, a lot to adjust. Um, some students aren't even on campus, so that's definitely different for them. So what steps would you guys take if, I mean, it's going to depend on like, if we're like, if the vaccine goes through and everything goes back to normal, or if there's still the new normal, we don't know, but what steps would you guys take to make sure that BG um, students and staff and faculty have the resources to, um, you know, make sure they have a healthy mental health. Awesome, thank you. Uh, so it starts with the advertising as you can have as great of resources as possible, but if you don't advertise, it's not gonna be used. So just really pushing uh, what the counseling center is, what they're offering, uh, through all uh, media platforms, along with posters, maybe use of QR codes. And really a uh, big thing is increasing the staff of the Counseling Center as they've lost one of their leads uh, this past year. And just really making sure that their staff is able to adjust to such a growing demand for mental health. Yeah, so the counseling center does a lot of, um, I mean, they've started to do more advertising. Um, it's on like elevator doors and like the steps at the union. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, what what are advertising ideas do you have? And they've also been promoting it on social media a lot too. Yeah, so I definitely think that we're in the right direction. Uh, so the, if we're able to get to uh, a more normal setting next year, just really having events kind of making it more aware, have uh, student advocates uh, table in the union that are knowledgeable. Uh, and then along with the creation of banners, window painting, just anything to really know that the council center is here and they're here to help. Yeah, so um, kind of just a random question, but it's very like relevant for our campus right now, obviously regarding the death of Stone Foltz, um, if you guys were to win the election, how would you address the hazing? And I'm sure that if you were to win this election, then you would be in the process of um, kind of deciding what happens. Um, how would you guys address hazing and the passing of Stone Foltz and how do you think it should be handled? And yeah. Yeah, that's a great uh, question, Macy. Thank you for asking that question. Uh, so uh, for our ticket and particularly, this is a very personal uh, topic as Chase is a part of Greek life. So uh, she, I think this entire campus is mourning, but I think we should use this as a, as a turning point to what we wanna be in the future. So one of our, our plans or in the works is having uh, fraternities staying accountable uh, by the use of a task force uh, within the FSL and Panhellenic Council and having undercover pledges just to keep uh, fraternities and sororities accountable. I don't think this is just limited to uh, Greek life, unfortunately, but moving forward, as 
soon as we get more information of, of how to correct this along with the passing of the Collins law, I think we'll be setting ourselves up for success, not only for next year, but uh, hopefully for the rest of BGSU's existence.